Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back again. In this session, we are going to discuss about some of the SAP SD real-time scenarios. If you go for an interview, you can confidently speak about it, about this client or business requirements. Okay, now let's get started. Suppose in the system, we have so many custom functionalities are enabled. For example, RDD calculation at header level, that is table is VBAK, field is VDATU, and RDD functionality active at item level, that is table is VBEP, field is EDATU, and update complete delivery flag and sales order header level, Field is AUTLF and uh, if you want to trigger any IDOC based on certain uh, checks and that too it's for any interface and a different pricing date should be triggered for different sales area wise or different order reasons should be picked for a different sales arc level or different sales document type level as well. A different exchange rate type for the based on different conditions or item category determination customer or material wise etc 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 so we have in the system so many custom functionalities are there but now business wants to activate these functionalities for sales area wise for example in my case it's sales area in your case it might be different condition okay as of now let's take the example as sales area only so in our project we have 20 sales areas are there for few of them for uh, first two sales areas header level rdd item level rdd should be activated if that is activated then custom logic should trigger if that is not activated then standard logic will trigger similar way to trigger in any interface or idoc that should be activated for certain sales areas and the complete delivery flag update also should happen on certain sales areas right to control this entire functionality so basically this is the requirement from business so to control this entire functionality we are going to develop one custom table that is g table so in the custom table, we are going to have different fields, a sales arc, sales area, division, pricing determination. For example, this is my requirement. Okay, this is as per my requirement. It might be changed in your case. Pricing date, RDD create, RDD change. So create in the sense, VA01. RDD change means in case of change. RDD item create means in case of item already change in case of creation added item change means in case of already determination in change of an order that is va02 and this is for in case of complete delivery flag update therefore we can develop on custom table sales area wise we can keep this uh, sales area sales are distribution division as primary key then we can enable the flag here. For example, if I want to enable price determination for only one sales area, then the relevant sales area, you can update as X. If I want to activate RDD create for one sales area, then for the relevant sales area, you can update as X. So whenever X has been maintained for any of the sales areas, for those sales areas only, the custom logic so we are going to develop a custom logic in the relevant user exits that custom logic will trigger in case of those user exits only once the table is developed and based on the criticality of the table either we can provide access to business users by assigning the authorization object to the table and assign the roles as well and we can give that sm30 maintenance view for the table and they will do that or else if it's a critical table then we can do that via transport only that access should be with uh, us only 
support team only support team will transfer the changes from development to quality to production